Hello guys, welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Final Fantasy, brought to you by GamingIn1.com. What I decided to do off foot is do like some minor level grinding. The only reason I did was just to get more money. And yeah, I upgraded some extra spells for Lazy now she got Blinda and Null Shock. And Mike, I still haven't picked an extra spell for him. I... Now the other two spells I found in my opinion were useless. When you get on the ship, you hold the A button, tap the B button several times, and you will get... A 15 piece puzzle game. You just put them in all the right spots as long as they're red, and you do it in the fastest amount of time, you will get prizes like new items. Especially items you cannot buy. Buy, excuse me. But that bores me. So, we're gonna go straight to Alfheim right now. Besides, I suck at that puzzle. It's just gonna be a waste of time if I try to finish it. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I believe that's Elfheim. Unless I went back to Cornelia, which I'm not supposed to go to yet. Because I know, like, uh, Elfheim is south of Cornelia. Now, let me check the map just as soon as I beat this goblin. That's what I should have done sooner, by the way. Oh, goddamn, back to Cornelia. I'm supposed to go a little bit lower. I believe this is the right spot. Yep, yeah, it's the right spot. Okay, time to take out a Gigas Worm and an Ogre. Time to test out the new Blizzard spell. I know Mike doesn't like using ice because he's more of a fire person, but Blizzard is probably stronger than the other two since it's a level 2 spell. Therefore, I am using that. Okay, there's Elfheim. Found it. There's all the elves. I don't know what we can do. Please help our prince. Okay, first I want to go for the spells. Let's read the graves. I see a gravestone. Here lies Link. Oh god, Link's dead. Okay, what am I going to get first? Probably a Cura. And that's about it. We're not gonna be able to get too far now, unfortunately. I'm a sage. When the time is right, the future is revealed to me. I shall wait patiently until then. Good for you, buddy. You have dedication and commitment. I like that. Sadly, I cannot do much because I don't have the right equipment. I don't have enough spells. So it'd be suicide to go to the Marsh Cave right about now. I knew I should have money grinded even more. And why didn't I? I don't even have enough to go to the God Bless It Inn. Oh, I'll be right back and do some Okay, grinding. rather than bother with level grinding and getting so much money for a long time, I decided to cheat! You know what I decided to do? I decided to use a Game Shark code to get me maximum money all the time. There, I want some Null Blaze, and I definitely want Heal. There, now we don't have to worry about insane level grinding so I don't have to be over a level to get all my equipment and fight enemies. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be level grinding, it's not like I'm using invincibility or anything like that. It's just that I want it to be, like, slightly, you know, slightly not have so much time needed to get everything. Cause it would just be annoying, like, if we had to wait because, you know, I had to get all this shit, you know? Ooh, I could use a saber. And... I could use a dagger. I always get everyone equipped. That's good. And that's good. Now for some armor. He's finally got a big stream of wealth here because I'm fucking rich. Uh, copper armlet, yeah, get everyone that. No shield, no leather cap. Well, I'll get two leather caps and a helm for me. I mean, for Retro. I forgot, I'm the thief and Retro is the warrior. So I'm used to always make myself the warrior, but since I want to be as accurate as possible, I decided to let myself be the thief. For some particular reasons. Uh, stock up with some potions, and some antidotes, and some 
good needles, some echo grass, and some tents just in case Mike and Lady want to get a little loving on the go. <laughs> they get one tent. Let's see them have fun. Oh. I'm not at high enough level, so I can't use this level 4 magic. Therefore, I cannot get it at all. How bullshitty. Well, I guess there are times you do have to gain a lot of levels. Why not? I'm trying to find the inn. Like, why does there have to be so many trees? Like, goddamn you, Smokey the Bear. If it weren't for you, this forest be down by now and burned to death. But no, I had to walk around the woods. Because Elvine is so full of tree-hugging hippies! He's Louise! All I just wanted to do was get to the Blessed Inn and... You know, just get to sleep, but no, now I'm even more exhausted because I have to walk around the trees. Okay... Now that's out of the way, let's head for the Marsh Cave. Because that's the next dungeon we need to go to. Hey, it doesn't matter because I'm well prepared. Now I can use Thundara, which is a level 2 Thunder in case you're wondering. And it can target all enemies. Okay, let's look at the map. What am I doing? Maybe I shouldn't be looking at uh, the enlarged map. Okay, yeah, I think I'm supposed to go down and work my way from there. Oh, this place can be so complicated. Uh, yeah, use Fira, or Fira, whatever way you want to pronounce it. To me, it's just level 2 fire. Yeah! In your face! Alright, let's go. Let's take up some more wolves. Sadly, you won't be seeing too much excitement here. Other than admitting that I'm cheating now. I mean, it just takes forever to get a lot of money. I mean, it's not like I'm cheating so I can go to max levels or max debts. No, I'm just doing it for the money. I mean, if I was just doing this fair and getting all this equipment, I'd be at like level 12 or level 13. And some of the dungeons would just be boring as a result. Personally, I'm at least making it somewhat fair when it comes to the actual battles. Other than the fact that I'm more well equipped at a low level, but hey. It works. Oh, lady dropped the hammer! Awesome! Break. Too bad they weren't selling ethers, because that would have been so awesome. So I can just magic spam and keep filling up. Okay, that should be pretty close now. The Marsh Cave. I would be if it weren't for these friggin' wolves that had to gang up on me. I wish it was an auto feature like in the Breath of Fire series. Cause that would be so awesome over right now. I'm just tapping the A button. As lazy as can be. I mean that's all I'm doing! I only made like, what, four or five steps and already I'm in an enemy encounter? Yay. I'm gonna take out Caveman Bernie. He shouldn't last long. Nice work, Retro. Oh yeah, gain love level. I think we're at level 10 now. Is this the right way? It better be, yep. Yeah, it looks like I see marshes. Oh, a new enemy, the werewolves. Yeah, I don't think I've seen those before. I've seen the goblin guards before, they're not new. Oh, 
at least this guy's gaining health automatically. That's no good. It's a small amount, but still. You can add up if you leave him alone for far too long. Well, wow, lady's kicking some ass! Okay, I think that's enough for now because I'm out of time. But stay tuned for the next part when we go into the Marsh Cave. See ya, everyone.